Okay, everyone. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Um, tonight's going to be a little bit discombobulated. I was just watching the hockey playoffs and St. Louis Blues just double overtime. They just won. I've been. I don't know why. I don't. I'm not a huge, huge sports hockey guy, but you know, you get into the finals and I start watching. So, so you might hear my voice. I think it's the allergies. I got something going on. A little feeling a little weird. All right. So let's get started. Just real quick. I'm just going to throw some things together. I got my bazooka here. Nine days. Nine days. Holy crap. I have a lot of driving to do. I'm going to be driving to Xenia and back, and then we're going to be going to Oklahoma City, and then to Dallas, and then back to St. Louis. Probably over. I'm going to be driving over a 1,000 miles. And that I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so, all right, nine days to Hamvention. I'm starting to think, man, I want to buy something now. What am I, what am I going to buy? I want to buy something, I don't know, antenna-wise, straight key. Something in the one hundred to two hundred dollar range. I don't know. All right, just so you know, um, you already know this. We are going to meet at the Warped Wing Brewery Saturday night. I want anyone and everyone to be there. Just anyone that wants to go, just show up and say hi and have some fun. We're just gonna drink and get some Uber cars and not drive, drink and drive or anything. We're just gonna have some fun. All right. So there's a Facebook page for to sign up and kind of just say you're coming. That way we kind of know who's gonna go. I'll put that in the description. Links in the description. All right, Warped Wing Brewery. That is in Xenia. Xenia, Dayton. That's actually in Dayton. All right, who cares? All right, I got the world's best comment ever because QRP School, Cliff, awesome freaking channel. He said, Tom, you are an inspiration. Uh, no, you inspire me. Seriously. Dave Kassler and QRP School got me back into radio a couple years ago. I was like surfing around like, see i forgot about ham radio you know i've kind of got complacent and all i saw qrp school and he, i'm like he inspired me to get back into it and i want to thank you so much i really really hope you come i hope cliff comes to to see i'd like to meet him he's pretty cool all right just so you know i feel like my channel is not tech about technical ham radio i'm not i don't want to be technical to me that's boring i do that all day at work at, in, in computer coding i want to have some fun I want to tell us stories. That's what my channel is about. It's about telling a story. It's about going out. And that being said, I took this out last weekend, a couple days ago, in fact, made a video. I'm going to link to it right here or at the end of this. And let's just talk about this right now while I'm here. Okay, so, you know, I get a little tired of dealing with trees. The reason is because I don't have that much time. I want to go up. What I really want... I really started thinking about this antenna right here, and it's $100 plus the legs, which is another $30 or something. It's like $130. I actually might buy this at Hamvention. I'm going to go to the Elecraft booth and ask them, do you have a deal? Do you have something like 20% off or something? Sometimes they do. And I'm going to try to buy that antenna for under $100, hopefully. And the reason why I'd want that antenna is because there's so many times when I'm at a hotel I've got literally like 30 minutes, you know, I've got to just sneak away because I've got a family and everything. I just got to go and set up, operate. I've got 20 minutes, set up, bam, 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 try to make a contact, listen, and then maybe I've got a patio or something. I got to do it after everyone goes to bed. I've only got a short, short amount of time, and I've just got to pop up an antenna and bring it back down without being conspicuous, right? That's why I'd want this antenna, and that's why I might buy it. That being said... I went out and got this. This is PVC pipe, and it actually came in this length right here. I actually tried to buy 3-inch pipe, but this is 2-inch pipe. I had to take the outer shell off of my telescoping pole and, and only get up about probably 25 feet and put it in here. And this right here, at, also at Home Depot, I purchased was a garden stick. And so, you know, I made a video, and I'm going to link to it here where I hammer this down, put the telescoping pole inside of the tube, bought a cap for the bottom. I just put the cap on and then put the telescoping pole here, shot it up, ran a wire up and down easy, no trees, no mess, nothing, because remember, I'm in a hurry. Okay, so that's why I did this. Now, there's lots of problems with this. As I mentioned in the video, this is wiggly. That's not good. So you need two, two, there's a lot of ways to do this. And lots of people wrote me comments and told me, oh, this is a better way to do it. And I'm not telling you that this is the end-all, be-all. This is the beginning of my experimentation. 
And uh, somebody somebody talked about how they had they put one of those metal rings around, and then they had four guy guy wires down to use tent stakes. You could stake this down with wires or straps. You can you can hammer this into the ground. Uh, one of the guys mentioned that he uses what he calls a star picket. The uh, a star picket. What is that? That is a. Okay, I don't want to get into too much detail. Basically, you've got a tube. You need to stick your tel telescopic mast up, and then you put it in the ground. It's got to stick straight up. You can bungee it. You can stake it into the ground. You can do whatever you want. Think about that. We're going to do that. So one more thing. Thinking about live streaming, what I needed, I'm going to be doing a lot of driving and traveling and internet, internet capabilities while I'm mobile. So what this is, is a mobile router. It's very expensive. This thing is like $250. Do not buy anything like this unless you can justify it or need it or, or, or really use it. However, this thing is freaking cool. It's the night gear. It's the Netgear Nighthawk. It's called a MiFi router. So you carry it with you 20 hours battery life. What you do is you buy a, a, a data plan on a little SIM card. You put the SIM card in the bottom and depending on your data plan, you can have up to 20 devices connected to this. So you put this in your car, in the van, in the travel, whatever, and you can connect up to 20 devices to this. I've live streamed from this 4G network. I got amazing service from this because I bought an unlimited plan and I had my kids, I had two of my kids on two different devices streaming uh netflix movie movies from this so now that I, not only can i live stream from this this is an internet device that's freaking awesome and while i'm on the topic it comes it does not come with antennas but you can put antennas on here you actually might see me with this in hamvention at hamvention you can put antennas on here and get even better reception these just came in the mail today. There are many ways to do uh, data service while you're out in the field. This is just one of them. This is the best one, though. Very expensive, but you got to buy a monthly plan. 20 hours, 20 devices connect, connect up to this Wi-Fi. Freaking awesome. Okay, that's it. That's all. I just wanted to get some stuff out there. It's been a wild day. It's been a wild week, some wild weather. We actually have storms coming in tonight. <sighs> that means in the middle of the night... I'm going to hear thunder, then I'm going to hear a baby crying, and then I'm going to have to go up there and deal with the baby crying because she hates thunder. Anyway, all right. Nine days, man. Nine. Let's see you at Hamvention.